Hi, audience. Welcome back. Today I'm doing another spooky story time. Let's get into it. This one is called The Black Eyed Children. They say if you let the black eyed children into your house, you'll be cursed. If you hear a knock in the middle of the night and two children are standing there, don't answer. And if you do, they're going to ask to come in. One rule don't let them in. Who knows if they're real or not? But this is a story about a girl, a, a woman who lived with who lives, who lives with her husband. And they met the kids. Oh, and they let them in. Now, let's see what happens. Okay. There was a girl named Ohana who lived in a small, who lived in Benjamin. In Bengal, kind of in the middle of nowhere. One, one cold Christmas night, one co- one cold snowy night. It was the, it was around one a.m. when she heard a knock at the door. She got up and told her husband to wake up as well, because who knows who could be at the door. To their surprise, they were two children who were just staring down at the ground. And they weren't dressed for winter. As they opened their door, they said, how'd you, why are you in the middle of the streets? Said the woman. Both of the kids didn't look up and said, we're cold. She asked, where are your parents? She said, they, the boy said, our parents are going to be here soon. Can we come inside? Now well, that was the red flag that they were supposed to avoid. But at the time, the couple didn't know about these two. So in their eyes, all they saw were two hungry children who desperately needed some help. So of course, being kind-hearted people, she let them in she went inside the the wife went inside the kitchen to make the poor children some hot cocoa as the husband sat on the couch with the kids but he noticed something off their cat was always welcome happy and welcoming to any new guest and would go straight to them but in this case Their cat was hiding under the kitchen table, growling at those two children. They, at first, the husband didn't think much of it. Soon, the cat just hid hid under the couch and didn't come out at all. As the black-eyed children were sitting on the couch, the wife brought the hot cocoa over for them. But then, that's when they finally lifted up their head for the first time. Their head was still down, yeah, except then they asked if they then they said, may we use the restroom? And they finally lifted their head up. Their eyes were completely black. No pupils, no whites, just black, pure she said, sure, it's down the hall. As she immediately went up to her husband and said, did you see their eyes? As his husband shook, no, why? The wife didn't say much until the kids didn't come back. She said, those kids had pure black eyes. At first, the husband didn't believe her. But when the kids didn't return from the bathroom, they went into the hall only to find both the kids in the hall staring down with their black eyes. They were both terrified as the kids ran up to them but went right past them. They went to the door and said, our parents are here, we'll go now.
terrified as they were, they saw two tall men standing there. They waved hello, but they got no answer. Soon the kids ran away, and that was the last that they saw them. But the story didn't end here. Something they were cursed because they let the black eyed children in the house. Sometime later, they found out that when the hus when the couple were out, one of their cats had died, and one of them had got one of them had got food poisoning. One of them was sick, and the last cat. There was no explanation on how that cat died. Soon after, Gerald, the wife's husband, duh. I mean, like, duh. Who else would I be talking about? Um, yeah. So Ger Gerald's mom was diagnosed with cancer. Slowly, this curse started to go away. But they had already lost many loved ones. Many more than just Gerald's mom. Many more. To this day, they say, beware. If you have a kind heart, you'll let the children in. But if you have a, but if you have a smart brain, you'll leave them outside. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the story time. Um, I'm actually gonna make a video very soon. Very soon, I'm doing a collab with Happy Dappy, my friend. It's coming up today, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty exciting, and let me tell you, there are going to be some legendary pet prizes. So, stay weird and stay tuned. Bye!